For me, beauty is definitely about sort of being yourself and being who you want to be. The stereotypical side of beauty is changing, but very slowly. There's a lot of people who also have alopecia and they won't be comfortable doing anything like this or even going out the house. To me, that is just sort of second nature. I'm, I'm fully comfortable with who I am now. <laughs> I was inspired by seeing other people who were like me. So I, I thought like from there, if I can do that for someone else as well. When I was about five or six, the patches just all basically joined into one and I had like tiny strands of hair just hanging on. But when I was 13, 14, that's when my eyebrows started going. And then after that, that's when my eyelashes went. So at that point, that's when I started sort of experimenting a lot with makeup and drawing on the eyebrows, putting eyelashes on when I lost my eyelashes. And now I've got alopecia universalis, which is complete body hair loss, head, scalp, face, all of that. A massive thing for me was my family and having that support system around us. My whole life I've grown up not knowing any difference in a sense as to who I am and how I look. But I've had the outlook that if I can't change it, I can't control it. So there's no point in stressing about that because essentially it's not really going to help the situation. There is a huge, huge community out there of people with hair loss who suffer with similar things to you do, who felt the same things that you do. It's baffling to me that you can let hair stop you from doing what you want to do in a, in a sense. And it is definitely just this mental hurdle that you do have to overcome. So as soon as you do get comfortable with who you are and be accepting of that, then the better you're going to feel.